One, ignition. Five metres high and more than 3,000 kilos, the Europa Clipper is hardly the little probe that could. In fact, it's the largest NASA's ever assembled for a planetary mission, especially now its 30 metre solar wingspans extended to power the way. We had to build these giant solar panels to capture the small amount of sunlight at Jupiter to power the spacecraft, and that's led us to having the largest planetary spacecraft for NASA ever. Its destination is Jupiter's moon, Europa. NASA has called the tiny moon one of the most promising places to look for life. By studying its icy surface from above, NASA seeks to understand the potential for life in other non-Earth environments. So what we learned with Clipper and the habitability of Europa, this is going to pave the way for the future, for future missions to Europa and elsewhere in our solar system where we can search more directly for life. NASA says after a 2.9 billion kilometre journey and 49 orbits collecting data, it'll need a decade to complete its mission. I often talk about these missions as modern cathedrals. They are generational quests. We have been dreaming, we scientists have been dreaming about a mission like Europa Clipper for more than 20 years. We've been working to build it for 10 years. It's gonna be another 10 years because Jupiter's so far away until we have all the science in the bag. Also on the probe is a new work by US Poet Laureate Ada Limon titled In Praise of Mystery. NASA hasn't said if it expects any life forms to read the poem on its journey. Angus McIntosh, ABC News.